in a future where humanity has mastered the art of interstellar travel, the desire to explore and understand the universe has only grown stronger. As humans ventured to distant worlds, they encountered a myriad of alien ecosystems, each with its unique challenges and wonders. Among these discoveries, one stood out above the rest, the vast, unexplored oceans that covered the surfaces of many habitable planets. Recognizing the limitations of their own physiology in these alien aquatic environments, humans turned to an unlikely ally back on Earth, the dolphins. Long revered for their intelligence and adaptability, dolphins had been the subject of extensive research and communication efforts for centuries. It was time to take the next step in their relationship with humans. The Dolphin Uplift Project was born, a groundbreaking initiative that sought to enhance the cognitive abilities of dolphins through genetic engineering and advanced neural implants. The goal was to create a new generation of dolphins capable of complex language, abstract thinking, and problem-solving skills on par with humans. Dr. Amelia Nakamura, a brilliant xenobiologist and the lead scientist of the project, worked tirelessly to perfect the uplift process. She had always been fascinated by the potential of dolphin intelligence and had dedicated her life to bridging the gap between humans and their aquatic cousins. As the project progressed, a select group of uplifted dolphins emerged, their minds expanded far beyond their natural capabilities. These pioneers were chosen to embark on a mission unlike any before to join humans in the exploration of alien oceans. Echo, a female bottlenose dolphin, was among the first to be uplifted. Her keen intelligence and quick adaptability made her a natural leader, and she soon found herself at the forefront of the dolphin team. Alongside her human partner, Dr. Liam Hoffman, Echo prepared for their first mission to the oceans of Kepler-62f. The journey to Kepler-62f was long and arduous, the expedition ship carrying a diverse crew of scientists, engineers, and the uplifted dolphin team. As they entered orbit around the planet, the anticipation was palpable. The oceans below beckoned, a deep blue expanse that seemed to hold endless possibilities. The first joint human-dolphin mission set out to investigate the shallower regions of Kepler-62F's oceans. Echo and her team were equipped with specialized suits that allowed them to communicate seamlessly with their human counterparts and access a wealth of information through their neural implants. As they dove beneath the alien waves, the wonders of Kepler-62F began to reveal themselves. Bioluminescent creatures flickered in the depths, casting an ethereal glow across the underwater landscapes. Strange, coral-like structures towered above the ocean floor, their intricate patterns unlike anything seen on Earth. Echo's natural sonar abilities, combined with her enhanced intelligence, allowed her to navigate the complex underwater terrain with ease. She led the team to hidden caves and ancient ruins, relics of a long-lost civilization that had once thrived beneath the waves, Dr. Hoffman marveled at the efficiency and intuition of the uplifted dolphins. Their ability to process and interpret the alien environment was unparalleled, and their insights proved invaluable to the mission's success. Together they collected samples, mapped out the ocean floor, and made groundbreaking discoveries that would reshape the understanding of life in the universe. As the mission progressed, Echo and Dr. Hoffman formed a deep bond, their minds and hearts united in the pursuit of knowledge. They spent long hours discussing the implications of their findings, marveling at the beauty and complexity of the alien world they had discovered. Back on the expedition ship, Dr. Nakamura and her team worked tirelessly to analyze the data streaming in from the dolphin team's implants. The wealth of information was staggering, and the scientific community back on Earth was buzzing with excitement at the prospect of the discoveries being made. As the Kepler-62F mission drew to a close, Echo and her team returned to the ship, their hearts filled with a sense of accomplishment and wonder. They had accomplished something truly remarkable, and the bond between humans and dolphins had grown stronger than ever. The success of the Kepler-62F mission paved the way for further collaborations between humans and uplifted dolphins. As word of their achievements spread, more and more dolphins volunteered to undergo the uplift process, eager to contribute to the exploration of the cosmos. Dr. Nakamura continued to refine the uplift process, working to enhance the cognitive abilities of each new generation of dolphins. She knew that the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe lay in the unity of minds, and she was determined to push the boundaries of what was possible. On the next mission, a team of humans and dolphins ventured to the oceans of a planet known as Trappist-1e. This world was a true challenge, with crushing pressures, extreme temperatures, and a complex web of underwater currents that made navigation nearly impossible for humans alone. Echo and her team, now seasoned explorers, 
took on the challenge with unwavering determination. Using their enhanced senses and problem-solving skills, they mapped out safe routes through the treacherous waters, located pockets of stable conditions, and even discovered signs of ancient, advanced civilizations hidden deep beneath the waves. As they explored the ruins of a once great aquatic city, Echo and Dr. Hoffman made a startling discovery, a massive, pulsating structure that seemed to be alive. Upon closer inspection, they realized that it was a gigantic, sentient jellyfish-like creature, its tendrils extending for miles in every direction. The creature, which they named the Trappist Leviathan, was unlike anything they had ever encountered. Its body was a living database, storing the knowledge and memories of the ancient civilization that had once thrived on Trappist 1E. Through careful communication and the use of their neural implants, Echo and Doctor, Hoffman were able to establish a connection with the Leviathan, unlocking a treasure trove of information about the planet's past and its inhabitants. As the human dolphin teams continued to explore the alien oceans, they encountered wonders beyond their wildest dreams. Bioluminescent reefs that pulsed with light, communicating in a language all their own, gigantic, sentient creatures that had developed their own form of technology based on organic materials, and even the remnants of long-lost aquatic civilizations, their cities preserved in the depths like underwater time capsules. Through their collaborations, humans and dolphins formed unbreakable bonds, their minds and hearts united in the pursuit of knowledge and understanding. The uplifted dolphins became more than mere tools or companions, they were true partners, equals in every sense of the word. As the scope of their missions expanded, so too did the capabilities of the Dolphin team members. New generations of uplifted Dolphins were born, their enhancements building upon the successes of their predecessors. Some specialized in deep-sea exploration, their bodies adapted to withstand the crushing pressures of the abyss. Others focused on xenobiology, their keen minds able to unravel the mysteries of alien aquatic life with unparalleled insight. Dr. Nakamura watched with pride as her vision of human-dolphin collaboration came to fruition. She knew that the bond between the two species was the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe, and she was determined to see it through to the end. As the years turned into decades, and the decades into centuries, the legacy of the uplifted dolphins only grew. They became an integral part of human society, their unique perspectives and abilities enriching every aspect of life, from science and art to philosophy and spirituality. Echo, now an elder among her kind, looked back on a life filled with wonder and discovery. She had seen the oceans of a thousand worlds, had communed with beings beyond the scope of human imagination, and had formed bonds that would last a lifetime. She knew that the future was bright, and that the partnership between humans and dolphins would continue to light the way forward. And still, the call of the unknown remained strong. With each new world explored, each new mystery unraveled, the human dolphin teams pushed forward, driven by an insatiable curiosity and a deep reverence for the beauty and diversity of the universe. In the end, it was the partnership between humans and dolphins that allowed them to truly reach for the stars. Together, they had conquered the oceans of a thousand worlds and in doing so had discovered the greatest treasure of all the power of unity and the boundless potential of the mind. As the expedition ship set out once more, carrying the next generation of explorers, both human and dolphin, towards the horizon, the legacy of their predecessors shone bright. They had shown that the key to understanding the universe lay not in the stars above but in the depths within and in the bonds forged between unlikely allies. And so, the journey continued, a testament to the indomitable spirit of curiosity and the unbreakable strength of friendship, for in the vast expanse of the cosmos it was the unity of minds and hearts that would light the way forward into a future filled with wonder and discovery.